What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy BT and today we are taking a look at this company. Is that supposed to be like a short for company but now it's Humpany, your home? <laughs> Either way, this is the Humpany Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. It's a smart vac 11, it's got digital display, powerful suction, dual purpose roller brush, long running time. We're gonna see exactly if all of those things are true. Let's just go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Now, I'm actually pretty shocked at how small the box is when it was delivered. I was expecting something a lot bigger. And uh, this is uh, much smaller than that, but that's not a bad thing at all. So here is the, the brain of it all. So underneath is where the rest of the attachments are. Here's the actual roller. Battery pack. Must be a mount, a filter, another attachment. So we just want to get the basic stuff together here, but as you can see here with the rest of the box, there's a filter. This looks like a mount. We've got a brush cleaner. And then we have this crevice tool here. So we're going to leave these tools in here for now. We also have this attachment here with the brush. We're going to leave these in the box for now. All right, so here you can see the actual unit here. Dustbin area, clip here, drop out the dust, close it back. Okay, and then here, this is where you insert. This slides in here, like so, clips in place. And then you've got your extension. You need some extra length there. And then this brush goes into here. So before we put that in, you can see underneath what the brush roller looks like. Not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this here. And here we have the full assembled vacuum. Not bad. All right, let's see if this thing has any juice. So the battery, I don't see any display on here that tells you how much power is left in there. But let's go ahead and plug this in. Let's see if we get what we get for. Her. So plugging this in here, you just get one light in the middle. So for charging, probably might be in the bigger manual that tells us exactly what will display from a light perspective once it's done charging. Okay, blue flashing is charging. Blue steady light is fully charged. All right, so let's see if this thing has any juice in it. So this looks again pretty straightforward. So yeah, here we go here. So all we're gonna do is turn this in this direction here, slide it on. Let's see if we got any power here. Yeah. Got power. So yeah, it's pretty uh pretty straightforward. You just push this button here, turns it on, it's on the mid, you can go to max, go to min, three settings.
So you just pull this trigger right here, turn it on. Pull the trigger again, turn it off. It does have a nice little light here right in the front. So that's pretty neat there. So we'll just have to put it to the test and see how it does. But so far, if you look in this bin right here, you'll see a little bit of dust in there spinning around. So that's just from uh, the small little run I did right here. Uh, so yeah, it, it seems to be working uh, pretty good. Then we also have this release button here to release the bin. Take that, wash it, do whatever you need to do. And then you can come back in, set it in place here, snap that in. Yeah, so far, uh, looks pretty good. So we're going to have to give it a couple runs and see exactly how good uh, this vacuum performs. But this is a nice stick vac. It's not very heavy at all. We'll get an official weight on this here in a few. But uh, yeah, so far it's uh, been pretty good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get a weight on this. You can see there, 5.2 pounds. That's not bad at all. 5.2 pounds. All right, so. Good weight so far, good suction, and uh, yeah. Yeah, so far it's looking, uh, looking pretty promising. So once we get some uh, test results in after using it, we'll uh, definitely update and see if it is worth the money. It's actually a very uh, decent price vacuum, much cheaper than buying one of the high-end ones, especially if you just need this for cleaning up uh, the wood floors or you can even use it on the, the carpet as well. But um, we're gonna go ahead, get this thing tested out and um, see exactly how good it performs. So we're about nine minutes and 20 seconds in. We've already dropped to 50% charge. As you can see, we're continuing to drop right now. So we're gonna continue that test to see how long this battery lasts on the max setting. So about 13, 14 minutes in, we're already at 25%. As you can see, we're still dropping right now, 23%. So I'm guessing you might get about 20 minutes on maximum, but we'll see where the numbers actually come in. All right, so you can see here, we ended up killing this battery at 19 minutes and 23 seconds. Not quite 20 minutes, but still uh, not too bad for running full power. So we're a little bit over 46 minutes in. The battery is still charging. We are charging this battery that was run from the full power test. So 46 minutes, we'll see how long it takes to get this battery fully charged. Well, just got done finished charging this battery. Can you guess how long it took to charge the battery from dead out? Ding, 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 wrong answer. This thing took just over four hours to charge. So remember, four hours gets you about 20 minutes on full power usage. So if you don't have to use it at full blast, Hopefully you don't run the battery out too far. You can recharge it if you need to get juiced up for the next use. But uh, that's the analysis from the charging of this battery. All right, folks, that's it for the Homini cordless vacuum cleaner. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.